Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. You know you're an Israelite, right? Okay, good. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. You know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. How long have you been learning? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm going to read something to you, Tony, right? And this is what God wants from you. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So, Tony, God says he wants you to fear him, walk after him, and love him. How do you do that, Tony? By keeping his commandments. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day, for thy good. Now, Tony, I'm going to ask you a real question, right? Yeah, you, you, Let me ask you something, Tony. You may blow over here. When you look at all the black men out here right now today of Moncrief in this community, do you see any leaders it's among our people? China, you don't see them, right? No. no. Give me Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it up. You don't see them. Right, right, right. We all coming up. Black, black folks own a lot of schools and business. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So, so one day, bro, they uh, integrated schools and stuff. They put the hair on in, in, in the neighborhood. Absolutely. And they start losing everything. Absolutely. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, I don't see why they can't see that they ain't in the Want to run in love, you know what I'm saying? But so, I know Bible says be at peace with all men. You know what I'm saying? So, Tony, let me ask you this. With that knowledge you have right now, do you believe, how old you are, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how old you are? Uh, going, on, going on 63, right? 61. Okay. At your age right now, do you believe that you can be a leader to your people? Yeah. You believe that? Give me Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Because I'm asking something. Watch this. Moses was 80 years old and he led the people out of Egypt. He was a leader to the people. So guess what you got to do, Tony? You got to lead your people out of Babylon the Great. Yes, right. Because it's destroying us. Read this. Psalms chapter 90, uh, 94 verse 16. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God, listen, Tony. God is saying who is going to rise up for him against the evildoers. The evildoers are the ones you see our people raping our sisters, yeah, yeah. oppressing our people, shooting our people down like dogs. Right. Those are the evildoers. Right. Those that don't want to keep God's commandments, and they know they got to keep God's commandments. Those are evildoers, Tony. But God says you got to rise up for him and be that leader, right? Because you're looking at us as examples. We was once in everybody's place out here. But until we heard this Bible and we seen that God told us to rise up, guess what we did, Tony? We rose up. That's right. So guess what you got to do, Tony? What you got to do? Rise up. Rise up. That's right. You got to rise up, Tony. You from the tribe of Judah. And this is like, read. Oh, who will stand up for me? Against the workers of iniquity. Read, that's it. Yeah. So God says you got to stand up against the workers of iniquity, Tony. Right. Right. And in order to do that, first, before you rise up, before you can teach anybody out here what you got to do yourself, Tony. Give me second verse 14. Here you go. Get out. No. 
Okay, I'm, act I'm, I'm gonna put myself an example, right? Let's say if I wanted to be a uh, person that teach somebody how to get in shape. Yeah. What I gotta do myself? You look at me right now. What I gotta do? Yeah. I gotta be in what? Yeah. I gotta be in shape, yeah. right? Yeah. Before I can teach somebody how to be in shape, yeah. I myself have to be in shape. Bring it out. So before you can teach people how to keep God's commandments, yeah. gotta, you gotta keep God's commandments. Bring it out. Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse thirty-four. Yeah. Read this. Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse thirty-four. Read. Bring Therefore, it out. if so be that. You will subdue. Hold on, nope. Go to verse 14. That's what I want. Verse 14. Verse 13. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Bring it out. Now therefore set thine house in order. See that, Tony? God says you gotta set your house in order. What does he mean by that? Set your house in order. You gotta get yourself in order. Exactly. And I'm Right, right. You know, you got a lot of you really, you really, really, you 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 I mean, we don't got no leaders. We got entertainers. We got football players. We got comedians. We got brothers that know the word of God and don't won't do it. Those are not leaders, Tony. Read. Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. So once you start keeping God's commandments, then you must correct your people. Because they need a change. They need vision. Right? Out of the multitude of our people, guess what? There are some people amongst us that are crying for help, Tony, yes, that are searching for answers. Yes, we see our people get shot down by the police right. every single day. Right. Every single day. Right. Our people need these answers, Tony. And guess what? You got them. Right? We got them. So together, us as leaders, we come together. There's nothing that can stop us. Read. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So watch this, Tony. Let me ask you a question. You say you've been known for a while. Do you smoke or drink anything like that? You smoke? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're trying to get rid of it. That's good, right? Now we're going to give you some uh, commandments to help you fight that off. Because before you can teach others, you yourself have to be an example, right? Give me 1 Corinthians 3.16. No, 9.14. 9.14. 1 Corinthians 9.14. So before you can be a leader, you yourself have to be an example. Let's see what the scripture says about that. First, huh? Okay, we're gonna touch on all that. We're gonna touch on all that. Read that. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse fourteen. Bring it out. Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. So God is saying if you're gonna preach the book. You got to live by the book. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't, you a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. Hypocrites will not get the kingdom. Right. Now go to 1 Corinthians 3, 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, Tony. And guess what, Tony? Brothers that know they Israel and don't keep the commandments, they will not get the kingdom. Yeah, that's right. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. What do you think that means, Tony? I know what it means. Uh -huh. He's going to take you out. He's going to take you out. So what is your temple? Huh? Your temple is what? Your body. So let me put this in the, as an example to you, right? Exactly. They got cancer, lung cancer. They're in a the hospital. They dying because God is judging them for sinning. It's just, it's just like this, Tony. If you was to let me... Borrow your brand new 2020, uh, uh, wait, give me a car, uh, um, Lexus, 2020 Lexus, right? Got the tents on it, got rims on it, it's riding good, nice AC. And I bring it back to you after a week, it looked like a 2004 Dodge pickup, right? It's busted up, windows busted, vomit on the floor. What would you think? How would you feel about me? Right, if you give me, if you lent me your brand new car, Right? Oh, you like you kill. And I ain't care. I, I abused it, used it, all that, and I brought it back to you. But what, how you gonna feel about me? How you gonna feel about me? Would you let me use your car again? No, you will not. 
But guess what? You're going to cut me off, right? You're going to be mad at me. So, same way God feels. If he gives you a body to... Your spirit, your, that body you living in right now, right. right? God gave that to you. Right. And if you're putting drugs in it, weed in it, cigarettes, right? Pills, popping pills. God says he's going to destroy you. Right. Right. right? Well, cancer, like you mentioned, lung cancer, uh, uh, heart disease. You understand? Read. Right. Right. Yeah. It's more on that. Yeah. Read. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So you are holy, Tony. You are the chosen people of God. That's right. Did you know that? God says you above all nations of people, Tony. That's right. Everybody. Give me Titus chapter two about the aged men now. Now it's okay to drink. If you want to drink liquor, that's fine. But you can't get drunk. Right. Exactly. Give me uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. That the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, and charity and patience. See that? The older man and the younger man, they have to be sober minded. Right. Meaning clear minded. Right. right. Meaning their mind cannot be intoxicated with drugs. Right. With pills and, and liquor. You understand? Now give me Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Because you said something about you know women, right? You have a girlfriend? They tell you no. to keep the laws and you circumcise. Okay. Okay, understood, understood, understood. What do you think God thinks about that? Tony, man, this is a wicked Huh? It ain't good. Watch this. We're gonna show you, Tony. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. See that? Now God says to be married is an honorable thing, right? To have a, a woman that you call your wife and not just your baby mama, not just your side piece. God said that's an honorable thing. Yes, I'm going right. to tell you, I got an uncle. He been dealing with this woman for over 20 some years. And that's still his girlfriend. Not even married. And I don't understand that. Brother be 60 years old with a woman that's 60 years old and she's still his girlfriend. Bring it, Bring it out. That don't make no sense. Bring it out. But when you look at the so-called white man, you look at the so-called Chinese men, you don't see that. That's their wife. You see that? So the Bible is meant to change the mindset and the conditions of our community, right. of our people. Right. You understand? Read, read that again. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers. Now, God says a whoremonger. What's a whoremonger, Tony? What's a whoremonger? Right, right, right. You, you ever seen the movie Black Panther? No. Okay, okay, okay. So, God says a whoremonger, right, is a person that lay with a woman over and over and not married to them. Same goes as a woman. Lay with a man that's not married to them, right? That's a whoremonger, right? That's your help. But whoremongers and adulterers. God will judge. And how does God judge you? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. How does God judge whoremongers, Tony? How? How? How would I be put to death? If I go down the street. Okay, that's one. You will not enter the kingdom, correct? But we're going to show you. We're going to show you. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 61. Bring it up. Also, every sickness every, every sickness, every sickness is a judge from God. Like AIDS, gonorrhea, chlamydia, right? All those diseases are sicknesses and plagues from God. That's why you see our people lined up in front of the clinic, right? With STDs, burning and itching because they don't keep God's commandments. Read also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law uh -huh. them will the lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed so when you're out there whoremongering dealing with different women that you're not married to god says you will be destroyed for that we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.